Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today we are going to be unboxing the DJI Mavic Pro Platinum Drone. And my husband got the Fly More Combo Package here, as you can see. So we're going to just unbox this, show you what's in it, and then give you a little information on setup and just kind of tell you what we did and didn't like about this specific drone. That's their replacement plan. Okay. It's 99 bucks for a year for this. Versus the 400 and some. At Best Buy. At Best Buy for a replacement plan. Yeah, and it does, you could crash it in the water and it'll, they'll still do it. Okay. Just have to call and do that. There's the drone itself. Extra battery. Another battery. So this comes with three batteries. That's pretty good. This is the fly one package. Got a nice carrying bag. This should make it feel pretty good to go hiking. So just strap for the bag. Yeah. So this is a car charger. Oh, a car charger. Okay. Here's the power cord. Okay. Charging station? Yeah. And something to do with the charger. Full remote. So this is made for iPhone, so it's got the iPhone there. Oh, okay. So that's what these are. These are adapters for different phones. Okay. So you plug your smartphone, you have to get an app. So this will fly just with the controller. Okay. Uh, but you can't see what the camera's looking at. So your phone shows you what it's doing. Yeah. When you put mm -hmm. the, okay. The propellers? Yeah. So it comes with extra and to be honest with you, I don't know if there's any difference between the gold tip and the silver. Silver. Probably not. Do these break a lot? Is that what they Yeah. Okay. 
I guess you're lucky if that's the only thing that breaks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think that's it. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Take it out, test it, and see how it does. So after the unboxing yesterday, I plugged everything in, the batteries in, and uh, so I've got the the controllers charged up and I've got a fresh battery in the aircraft. Um, so what's happening now is that I'm updating the firmware and I went on to uh, DGI's website and I downloaded, uh, it's called DGI Assistant 2. Um, I just logged into it using my DJI account, um, powered the aircraft on, hooked it up, and so now it's just going through the updating of its firmware. That it? And it's my understanding that I have to do that for the controller as well, but we'll see what happens when I get to that. It's really quiet. Blowing our leaves down the hill. <laughs> So this is a design you can actually just fly it from your phone um, or from the remote, uh, but it works to combine them both so you can actually see what the camera is doing. Um, and I don't know how well that's translating, but you can see it's just looking at the grass. Because it's windy. It'll uh, have some issues. So it's just looking, it's just looking at the, or you're seeing what the camera's seeing. And it's fairly, you know, the, the remote's fairly intuitive. It's got a dial up here, and that just changes the camera. It's, you can make it look down by doing the dial or back up. So and it's got the front facing camera, which is obvious, and then it's got a camera on its belly. Um, so it just, you know, looks straight down is what it does. I was really impressed with, uh, how well the drone just stays where it's at. Um, it does drift a little bit in the wind and then it'll, it'll correct itself. So we've done some things where we were filming, uh, like a tree coming down. So I just set it above and just left it, you know, put the, uh, put the camera where I wanted it. So the wind's blowing now and you can see that it's it's rocking back and forth. 
you know, and they say you're not supposed to fly in high wind, and that's probably true, but the biggest issue of flying in wind is that it kills the battery, because it's always fighting to stay in position. When I first took off with it, it was in beginner mode, and that just makes it go slower, and you can't, get away, you can't let it get away from you very far. I think it's 30 meters, um, and it'll only go 100 feet high, and that was really nice, because you couldn't, it's almost impossible to crash if you're flying it forward. Um, you know, you quickly decide that you want to go faster or farther or higher, and then you just take off the beginner mode. And that's all done on your, on your phone. So it says beginner mode down here. Well, you can't switch it when it's in the air, but you just switch that on or off or on. Um, these are the different flight modes. I haven't, uh, I haven't used them all. I thought the gesture would be cool, which is here, and so you're supposed to be able to just make a gesture at it, and it'll take a picture, so I thought that'd be a group for like uh, family photos or group photos, and it does not work very good at all. And I got, on, I got on the internet and was watching some videos, and nobody can really get it to work well. It works sometimes. It has a lot of potential, but that's not something I'm interested in using. Um, you know, tap fly that you can, you can fly with your phone. The coolest thing that I found was using Active Track. So I hit Active Track, and it starts to track the things that it thinks you want it to. And so if it's on you, or your kid, or your dog, or your car, or whatever you want it to track, you wait till you, it, uh, it finds it, and then you hit Go. And then it tracks you. So you can either choose to move the drone, and it'll, uh, it'll just arch, arch around. So if I didn't have trees in the way, if you have active track and moving really fast will uh, confuse it, but I don't know if you can see it staying the exact same distance from me, right into the limbs. And so you can choose to, you know, to do some cinematic stuff as far as moving the drone. Um, but the thing that I thought was really cool is it'll actually follow you as it's tracking. And we've got some uh, we've got some footage of that. And so a little more on the remote. If you want it to take video, um, you can push this button here on the remote, or you can push this button here on the phone. The button over here. Mm. So that's not recording. That's recording. Uh, if you want it to take a picture, you just push the picture button here. Really simple. Um, I haven't flown it with just the remote, and I, I'm sure it's limited to what it can do. I mean, you can take video and, and uh, pictures, but you don't know what it's looking at. Um, you, I don't think you can do the the modes. You might be able to. I haven't I haven't looked at it much. But it's it's really a drone that you can just you take it out of the box, you charge it up, you update it, and, and you go fly it. It's it's really that easy. I'm very impressed with it. Um, as far as its maneuverability, its video quality, um, some of the things that I don't like about it, um, you know, the gesture mode, I was excited about that. I had some visions of what I was going to use that for, and uh, it just plain doesn't work very well. And so that was a, a disappointment. Um, there was a number of times where I, I got home from work and I just wanted to go out and fly it. And I plugged it in, got it going, and then I needed an update. The updates um, can take a little while. And so there was a number of days where I actually couldn't do it because it got dark before it updated. That was frustrating. That's something, of course, that I could take care of. I just needed to update it in my downtime. Um, other than that, uh, what I have found out is there's, there's a lot of restrictions on where you can fly these things. Um, obviously, you know, airports and things, and I knew that, but you can't fly them in national parks. Um, things like the Appalachian Trail you're not supposed to fly it off of, and there's a lot of great things you can take video of. Um, state parks, at least here in Virginia, you can't fly them, which really hamstringed us because we like to, to share our, our camping experiences with uh, the YouTube universe. And I just found out that the, uh, the FAA is proposing new laws that uh, would make it very expensive and restricted just to be able to fly it at all. Um, and I'm not going to get into what that says, but uh, that could be enacted within four years, and it's really going to change how recreational drone flyers um, 
can use their drones. But overall, you know, we got it for a really good price. Uh, here you can see that it's leaning into the wind. It's kind of neat to see that. Um, got it for a really good price. Uh, the drone's really solid. It's very easy to use, uh, really fun to fly. It takes really good video and pictures. So I'm not sorry that I bought it. Um, and really my biggest uh, complaints are not with the drone itself, but with the drone restrictions that are in place and potentially gonna be in place in the future. Okay, and what is this called again? Do so it's you know? the uh, D DJI Mavic Pro Platinum, and I got the Fly More package, which um, basically just comes with more batteries and a car charger. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.